if I take this, so this is general shape, y equals to ax plus b is the general shape. If I take b equal to 0 and a equals to 1, the specific shape becomes y equals to x. So y equals to x looks like this. If this is x-axis, this is uh, y-axis, this is the origin, it goes straight through. That's it. Memorize the picture. It'll come in handy. Now, if we have y equals to ax squared plus bx plus c, if I put c equals to 0, b equals to 0, and a equals to 1, so the specific picture becomes x y equals to x squared. And we call this uh, the basic parabola, and this is what it looks like. Just memorize it. The next one is a cubic y equals to ax cubed plus bx squared plus cx plus d. So if I put d equal to 0, c equal to 0, b equal to 0, and a equals to 1, we get a cubic picture y equals to x cubed. And specifically, this is what the shape looks like. Memorize this. It will be very useful. So this is what the shape looks like. Now we have the general shape, so y equals to e to the power x. I'm not writing a e to the power bx or anything, just y equals to e to the power x looks like this. We have, this is very specific. This is x-axis, this is y-axis, this is the origin, and it becomes parallel like this. This is what it looks like. And remember, uh, this is the y-axis, so at the y number line, there is no value of x. x equal to 0, if I put x equal to 0, e to the power 0 is 1. So I put here 1. Now, it's worth noting that here, the x-axis, if I don't give the x-axis and only the y-axis, the picture would look like this. The picture looks like this. This is the y-axis. This is the origin. So, this this is a magnetic field like, a, like of a thing. We call it the asymptote. Now, we have y equals to ln x, another specific picture. So, this time, it is like this. And... This is, now when you put here, this is the x-axis, this is the y-axis, this, this thing becomes 1. Again, if I, this time, if I draw only the x-axis and not the y-axis, here the magnetic, you know, field or what can I, let me call it the broken line, it's here. We can see it now. So this is 1. So, so these are specific pictures worth remembering. So we have uh, so far five pictures, two more, let me show you two more. Uh, y equals to sine x is another specific picture, trigonometry. And this is what it looks like, x-axis, y-axis, starting from zero. This is what it looks like. And the picture is usually from zero to 360 degree. And the highest point is one, and the lowest point is minus one. Just memorize this picture. Then we have y equals to cos, cosine x or cos x. Here, the picture looks a bit similar. They're part of the sinusoidal curve. Uh, actually, uh, sine x, cos x, they just they go on like this. One snapshot is sine x, which is from here to here. And another snapshot is cos x, which is from here to here. So they're actually part of the same picture. So the picture looks like this. Again, from 0 to 360 degree. This is plus 1. And this is minus 1. So these are specific sketches. This one more specific sketch I would like to talk about. And uh, it's a reciprocal. It's a fraction. It's a rational picture. So y equals to 1 by x. So this is a specific picture. And they are made up of, they are like hyperbola. It's like this is one boomerang shape. This is another boomerang shape. And they're similar to the e to the power x and uh, ln x pictures. If I remove both the y-axis and the x-axis, this is what it looks like. This is one of the asymptote, and this is another broken line, another asymptote, and this is what the picture looks like without the x-axis and y-axis. The x-axis and y-axis sort of hides the uh, shapes. That's what happens. So these are the specific pictures that you need to know. So let me do a very quick review. So the first specific picture is the linear y equals to x. So the picture looks like this. The next one is y equals to x square, a parabola. The picture looks like this. Always remember to label the x-axis and the y-axis and the origin. That's very important. The next one is y equals to x cubed. And the specific picture looks like this. Now, the next one is y equals to e to the power x. And e to the power x looks like this. Remember, there's an asymptote that is hidden by this line, x-axis, which is also known as the line y equals to 0. When you have y equals to ln x, this picture looks like this, and it cuts here at 1, and e to the power x cuts here at 1, and here the asymptote is the vertical line. 
Now we have the next one is y equals to sine x. So y equals to sine x looks like this. We have this axis, this axis. This is what it looks like. The highest point is 1 and the lowest point is minus 1. The next one is y equals to cosine x or cos x and x axis, y axis. This is, this is what it looks like. So this is 1 and this is minus 1. 